Greetings and salutations. Today we will take a look at the Amped Roots plugin from ML Sound Lab. So look around on the net for the best free plugin for heavy guitar and you will always come across the Amped Roots plugin. Of course we all know about the amazing 5034 that comes with the free version. Easily one of the best free offerings you can get as far as amp plugins go. But what doesn't get as much attention is the other three amps in the paid version of the plugin. You get a 5150, a Friedman amp and a Mesa Boogie dual rectifier. All these were done in collaboration with Ryan Fluff Bruce using amps and cabs from his own personal collection. In 2022 they did a major update for the plugin. Amped Roots 2.0 added a tuner, more pedals, and a more extensive and in-depth cab section. This is my favorite ML Sound Labs plugin. It has such a great and diverse range of amps that it's hard not to get a great tone really easy. Honestly, if you've never checked this plugin out, do yourself a favor and go download the free version. I'll leave a link down below. Even if you don't buy the full license, the 5034 that comes with the free version is still one of the best sounding amp sims out there. I'm surprised they give this away for nothing. So now we'll listen to a song that I wrote specifically for the Amp Roots plugin. Please like and subscribe if you are enjoying my videos and enjoy indeed. Thanks guys. So first of all guys, please forgive me for the sound of my voice. I sort of blew it out yesterday uh, doing this.
today I wanted to try something a little different. A lot of you guys in the comments section have been asking how I go about getting my mixes with, when I use programs that I show you guys. So I thought instead of doing some presets and that this time I'd show you how I got the sound in this video. So for drums, straight off the bat I was using Easy Drummer Modern Metal. A little bit of compression using uh, BX Master Desk and some EQ using Neutron Elements. Just a little bit of low end, a little bit of mid just for the snare. On the guitars, so this is the guitar so tone I used. Okay, so for the main folder that I put all my guitars into over here, use the TR5 Black 76 from IK Multimedia. This is a compressor. I've started using a lot of IK Multimedia stuff lately. It's really good, so I'll do some uh, reviews on that later. Neutron Elements, just for the EQ. Uh, if I turn this off, you can really hear what it's doing. I find ML Sound Labs amps really fuzzy and just there's a lot of hiss in them. So I'm cutting here at 6,000, cutting the low end at 100 just to get rid of that fizz. As you can hear, it really cleans it up. I've started using this from IK Multimedia too. I think it just adds a little bit of uh, liveness to the to the guitars this is the tr5 sunset sound studio reverb plugin if i solo this you can hear what it's doing just putting a little bit it makes it sound more like a real guitar because it sounds like it's sitting in a room feel like it just gives it just a little bit of uh, natural sounding guitar like you've got an amp sitting in an actual studio just for a little bit of flavor so for the guitars I did actually use every single amp in amped roots I had uh, two pan to the left two pan to the right so the first one is 5034 this is the one that comes with the free version of amped roots so we'll solo that second guitar that was on the left is the 5151 Next one, first right guitar was the Amped Roots Freeman, based on a Freeman Bluffs Freeman amp. <clears throat> Excuse me. And last but not least. We have the Mega Fluff based on a dual rectifier, of course. Oops. Just in case you want to copy any settings, all of them I had just standard overdrive settings at the front a little bit of noise gate because my guitar does have a bit of noise cab section for the 
Mega Fluff is there. So if you want to copy that at all. Curb section for Friedman. Curb section for the 5151. And curb section for the 5034. You can pause the video at any time to have a look at the sounds if you want, the settings. So that's pretty much the guitars. So like I said, that's, I always recommend, especially with ML Sound Labs, I can't stress it enough, is doing EQing because honestly, it's just, there's just so much hiss in these guitars that you really want to clean that up for your mix. They sound good when you're just playing them by yourself with a guitar, but in a mix, it's just too much high end hiss. So for the bass, as usual, use my Parallax. I love Parallax from Neural DSP. A little bit of stereo imager, like always. TR5 Black 76. I'll show you what this does on the bass. Just gives, just gives it some nice thump and neutral elements for EQing, like always. So for the clean guitars quickly, even though Amped Roots doesn't come with any clean tones, you can get some almost clean tones out of them. So I did this using 5034, but as you can see, gain is almost zero. I didn't want to cheat and use some other plugin for clean tones, I wanted to try and get it as much as I could with the, with the amped roots. So, and the Friedman on that side. Again, again, almost zero. This one here is the Mega Fluff. I didn't mind having a little bit of, a uh, little bit of gain in that one. Just using um, delay and reverb on it. A bit of delay and rev reverb on it just to get that real ambient sound and that's pretty much my whole mix guys so like i said that's the tone Hope that gives you a bit of insight into uh, what I'm doing. The only other little thing that I do is uh, was my mixer. On the master bus, this is, uh, I use Neutron Elements. So a bit of compression, little dab of exciter, and that's my EQ setting, my EQ curve. This is without. So as you can see, that's very subtle as well. Always try to make subtle changes, guys. Don't do anything too dramatic to your sound. You wanna get a good bass mix, good, you know, try to get your mix really good across the board. And if you're gonna put anything on the mastering bus or anything like that, just make it subtle. Don't overdo it. So that's the video for today, guys. Thanks for watching and enjoy indeed. Thanks, guys.